So the pioneers knock off the bees in a barn burner, yeah. but, you, but you got way ahead. Mm -hmm. And I like the strategy at the end. Listen, right. hey, I don't care what anybody else said. Louisville did the same thing in their duel. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys, you didn't have to send those last three guys out. Yeah. And those guys are killers that they got for their last yeah. three. Yeah, and those guys want to wrestle. I mean, I get it, man. It's like, you know, they don't come out, down here not to wrestle, but you also got to protect your guys. And if you can build a, build a, a sizable enough lead where so you don't have to run and risk an injury or something like that, then we just kind of felt like it was the thing to do at this point, um, especially at this point in the season. So um, you just, ordinarily you don't have those, that, that kind of, you don't have that kind of opportunity to do that. So. Um, we took advantage of it. No, no. I mean, look, Ben and, and, and Ethan. I love to watch those guys wrestle too. You know, but it just we just felt like it was the best thing for us to be. Jojo Norwood goes out and basically ices the thing. You know, you knew Jake Evans is going to come. Jake Evans just had to come out and win. Mm -hmm. we, I knew he was going to pin the guy. Yeah. But Jojo Norwood to come out a freshman who's not a seventy pounder yeah. to come out and ice that duel for you. That was huge. I mean, he's wrestled his whole life. Kid's got a lot of wrestling experience. You know what I mean? So that's a guy you want out there. Uh, but him and Brandy, I mean, the way they the way they came out and got it done after after Enrique after Enrique's match with Victor Vornovich, it was it was um it was really cool to see that, you know, and that, and that's what you hope for, man. That's what you hope for. You hope to have the guys come out and get after it and and uh, and, and put on a great show. Vornovich, uh, you know, that's a huge match between him and and, and Mungia. Mungia now has a rematch from Iron Man with Hepner. Yeah, I just talking to Gus about it. Yeah, and and that's huge. You guys can win that one. You can win twenty. You can win thirteen. You can win the duel. Yeah, I mean, you just don't, you, you never know. I mean, you watch these matches, and, and it's like, oh, okay, these guys, these two guys are pretty even in the match. Who's going to win there? And you just don't know. You, you, you hope the kids go out, and they, and they get after it, they do things right, and put themselves, give themselves a chance to win. You know, it's about them. They want to go get it. Hopefully, they'll get it done. Nate Burnett goes, wrestles Jimmy Carmody, Beast of the East champ. He doesn't want to go down. At the end of the day, to win the match, that's probably the best thing to win the match. Yeah. But for March to win the state title, that wasn't the best thing. So you put him down, and he gets turned, mm -hmm. and I think he learns a lot. Well, that's the goal. You, hey, you, hey. I figured that out. <laughs> you know, right? Yeah, I We've figured that out. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, our guy is hopefully going to get better. If You know, if losses don't teach you, I'm not sure what will in, in this sport. So I'm sure Nate was, was dis disappointed when he when he looked over and he wanted to go neutral. And I'm like, no, we're going down. Um, and then obviously disappointed with the match result. But you know what's cool? The end of that match, you know, when all the kids are going crazy, he wasn't sitting pouting in the corner. He wasn't bummed out. He wasn't feeling sorry for himself. He was fired up because, I mean, he helped his teammates. You know, yeah, he didn't win the match against Carmody, but I don't know. It could have been worse. You never know. And, um, you know, everybody's everybody's pulling together and they're doing a great job. And that was uh, that was cool to see. But, yeah, they, they don't do some work on the bottom. Okay, Todd Haverdell's over here waiting to talk to you. Yep. He wants to congratulate you. You got anything else for me? No, those, those guys at Rex are incredible. What a program. Um, what, a, what a program. What do you think it says about Todd, that he's waited, he's sticking around to come over and say hi to you? That's how he is. That's how he is. Yeah, um, not, I don't make him any better than that guy, and, and I'm, I'm glad that I can be around as much as I do in this sport. All right. Coach, good luck to you guys tonight. Thanks a lot, Todd.